It's not that we don't love the airport, but we have hatched a plan to start showing food porn during those teases and bumps <laughs> instead of just a boring shot of the air traffic control tower. And you're going to help us with the food. Let's chef. do it. Let's do it. The month of March is a busy one. National Reading Month, National Nutrition Month, and it turns out National Sauce Month. Tachi. Yes, it is. And to celebrate, we invited the folks from Cantoro Italian Market in Trattoria. Hey, I like the accent. Thank Anthony you. Calabrese <laughs> is executive chef at the Trattoria in Plymouth. Good morning to you. Good morning. I like saying the, you know, Calabrese. And this is already smelling like some kind of wonderful, isn't it? That is some kind of wonderful. Jeez Louise. What are we making today? We are making penne alla vodka. It's tie in with your vodka theme of the day. All right. Is there any left? We used it all to clean. <laughs> we cleaned I've all the cameras. I've got some more in the back for you. So what do we have in the pan right now? In the pan right now, we've got a little extra virgin olive oil. We've got chopped shallot and chopped uh, pancetta, your mm. Italian bacon. My goodness, that's that show. Shallot smells bacon? amazing. Yeah. You, you're my new best friend. <laughs> Restaurants in my hometown there at Plymouth. Right, yeah, I'm going to have to come over and see you. All right, yeah. here we go. Ready? Move all this stuff. And that's the vodka. Yep. A little decent, a uh, little bit of vodka. The vodka is said to um, lessen the acidity in the tomatoes, oh. making it a little bit more of a robust. Hey, that's on fire. Oh, that was fancy. He did that on purpose, didn't you? A little bit. Nice. Do you have a preference in the vodka? Remember earlier I said you don't have to spend the money for Grey Goose because Smirnoff actually won the champion. You don't. You're, you're absolutely correct. You don't. So, Chef, when, when, the, when you got the little fire to light in the pan, is that burning off the alcohol? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. You cook off the alcohol, the uh, vodka lessens the acidity in the tomatoes, and it actually helps with the emulsification mm. in the uh, cream and the tomato. Ooh la la. Emulsification, is that the uh, moisture is, is evaporating and you're leaving with uh, solid, or what is emulsification? It is uh, making uh, two substances uh, mix that don't generally mix. Exactly what I said. Uh, it's exactly what you said. You and Lori just said it, no fingerprints on the pan because all of the vodka. <laughs> this is amazing. So would you say that that is the secret to a really good sauce, a little alcohol of some kind? It generally is. Okay. You know, you have uh, alcohol comes in many forms, whether it be a spirit or a wine, uh, things of that nature. It kind of balances out the sauce. Nice. But sauces can be many different things, whether it's an emulsified sauce like this, a pesto that we have over here in Bronzino, or it could be a reduction like we have on the lamb. Yeah, let's, uh, okay. let's take a look at these Talk other dishes. These. Now, we've got a close-up of the lamb right there. You say this was made this morning, so I'm going to yes. Fred, Fred Flintstone style these. Uh, <laughs> if you don't mind. There you go. What else do you have here? You have a very... We have uh, grilled Bronzino. With uh, pesto alla genovese, which is your basic uh, basil pesto, mm -hmm. with pine nuts, garlic, and parmigiano. I love Branzino. The glaze that we have on the lamb chops is a reduction of Lambrusco, which is a slightly effervescent sweet red wine from Italy. You mean like Lambrusco? Like, like yep. Leonidi? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Uh, and a reduction of uh, balsamic vinegar. Mm. And then over here? We have some more grilled bronzino with a limoncello vinaigrette. So there we are, we're using mm. a little bit of alcohol again. Nice. I take limoncello, reduce it by about three quarters, Fresh lemon, fresh lemon zest, uh, extra virgin olive oil, and the uh, fennel greens. And on the end? On the end, we have uh, salmon siciliano, so fresh wow. uh, salmon, lightly breaded with a fresh breadcrumb, so it gives it more of a check chunky texture, and uh, an emolio sauce, which is more of a diced tomato, mm -hmm. extra virgin olive oil, onion, and garlic. Your oh emolio sauce goodness. is only as good as your tomatoes and olive oil. There okay, you go. you're going to plate this too, right? Get in here with the pasta. All right. Give it a dunk, and boiling water. Stir it around. Chuck, you don't live very far from uh, this restaurant. You could actually I, just... I was just there. Uh, well, I was not at the restaurant. I was at the up. store yep. on Sunday. Right after church, we went by there. We needed some things. Did, oh, you, wonderful. did you eat? We, no, we didn't eat oh, there. Okay. We went home and made stuff with their stuff. But did you notice when the chef said there's alcohol in that, he looked at you? No, you he did. You already established your <laughs> reputation here. This he morning. was like, she's brilliant. She's usually good to cook with. <laughs> You're right. There's Riuniti, and then there's also alcohol. Alcohol, Tati. Tati. Be honest. Who out there, when was the last time you had Riuniti Lambrusco wine, the kind that you had keep, keep in the fridge? But it's I so, happen to like it, by the way. It's right. good. Yeah. And yeah. thinking of it reduced, I mean, it's got to be sweet. It does. It, it gives yeah. that sweet tart effect. Yeah. Mm. And uh, it goes great with the lamb. You know, lamb's very, you know, the um, rib chops of lamb can be a little bit fat your cut of meat. So I like the reduction to go with it to kind yeah. of balance out the dish. Very cool. Very oh, it nice. smells awesome. Very in nice. Chef. So happy sauce month to you, Chef. Absolutely. Let's put this out. So tell us where you're located again. We are located in Plymouth on Haggerty. Uh, also, the original store is in Livonia mm. on uh, Middle Belt, which that's been there for many, many years. Good stuff. And what's your website so people can learn more? Our website more? is uh, cantoroitalianmarket.com. 
Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so and it's much. a great place to pull up and drop I your wife off to shop for a minute. And, and while what do you wait in the car? I'm just saying, I'm not, it's not that I've done this, I'm just saying you can. Yeah. Good idea. Just listen to Chuck. <laughs> we'll be right back. That's one serving. That's Is one it? Serving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. Please feel free to pick up some more. Mm. We're going to keep the chef as a permanent member of right. this team, <laughs> right? No problem. And we're in So how was that lamb chop, Jason? You mean the one that's already consumed and gone? Correct, and gone. <laughs> fantastic. It was Excellent. really good. Thank Glad you, you liked yeah. it. Glad you liked Very it. good. How's that? The salmon is fantastic. Out of Thank control. You. What what did you call this tomato again? That's an emolio. Emolio, and that's just... It's uh, diced fresh tomatoes, uh, onion, garlic, and olive oil. And that's Salt and it. pepper. That's you it. You said it's only as yeah. good as your tomatoes yep. and your olive oil. That's correct. This is fantastic. And the idea of using, it was vodka, right, before yes, I sir. got here, so that taking the edge off the tomatoes, the acidity. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. It's really so awesome. It makes a little more of a sweeter sauce, but still very robust in flavor. Yeah, very Well, good. there's flavor all over the place in this. Well, go visit Cantera. I, I, know, I know the wine cellar is a great place. I know that there's a lot going on that's great there, yep. just so you know. Thanks Thank for joining you. us for Live in the D, everyone. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Thank you.